An Introduction to the Rod and Coil, and Vortex-Based Mathematics. With the introduction of Vortex-Based Mathematics, you will be able to see how energy is expressing itself mathematically. This math has no anomalies, and shows the dimensional shape and function of the universe as being a toroid, or donut-shaped black hole. This is the template for the universe, and it is all within our base 10 decimal system. Numbers are real and alive, not merely symbols for other things. You will discover that the relationships between numbers are not random or man-made, but that numbers are actually elementary particles of which everything is composed. This lost knowledge was known to our ancients and is now being uncovered for us today. Gradually you will come to see that numbers, in a simple yet profoundly perfect three-dimensional matrix grid pattern that forms the shape of a torus. As you begin to glide through this explanation of Marco Rodin's fantastic discoveries, please understand that you must set aside many commonly held belief systems of the way the world works in order to fully comprehend the completely new truths that are embodied in this discovery. This math truly explains everything that ever was, is, and ever will be in the universe, perfectly with no emissions. As Russell Blake, senior researcher from Microsoft, has said of Marco's work, this fantastic coherence has existed since the beginning of time, but yet to be harnessed by mankind, and the potential is truly mind-boggling. Mathematics as we know it today is only a tool to symbolize quantities. It simply and shamelessly helps the greedy king count his coins. Vortex-based mathematics is completely different because it is a dynamic math that shows the relationships and thus the qualities of the numbers rather than the quantities. Within vortex-based mathematics, numbers are not symbols that stand for something else. Numbers are real and alive. But what exactly does that mean, you ask? Well, Marco Rodin's final conclusion was that all intelligence comes from a person's name. This led him to understand that not only our personal names and the language they are spoken in highly affect our personalities, but that the most important names are the names of God. This led Marco into a journey of thoroughly studying all the world's great religions. When he was introduced to the Baha'i faith, he immediately became a believer. Literally days later, Michael decided to take the most great name of Baha'u'llah, prophet of the Baha'i faith, which is the Abba, and convert into numbers. He did this in an effort to discover the true precise mystical intonation of the most great name of God, since the Baha'i sacred scripture was originally written in Persian and Arabic. Marco used the Abjad numerical notation system for this letter to number translation. What Marco discovered was that A equals 1, B equals 2, H equals 5, A equals 1, add all the numbers together, and you get 9. The fact that the most great name of God equaled 9 seemed very important to him, as everything he had read in both the Baha'i scriptures and other religion texts spoke of nine being the omnipotent number. So next he drew out a circle with a nine at the top and one through eight going around in a clockwise circle. Then he discovered a very intriguing number system within this circle. Marco then knew he had stumbled upon something very profound. This circle with its hidden number sequence was a symbol of enlightenment. This is the mathematical fingerprint of God Follow along as the amazing properties of this symbol unveil themselves to you. Put your pencil on the number 1. Now move your pencil in a straight line to number 2. Then in another straight line to number 4. Then across the center to 8. Notice that you are doubling. So next should be 16, and it is. But 1 plus 6 is 7, so move your pencil to 7. Then 16 doubled is 32, 3 plus 2 is 5, 
So move your pencil to 5. Then 32 doubled is 64. And 6 plus 4 equals 10. And 1 plus 0 equals 1. And then you're back to 1. So move the pencil across to the center and back up to 1. Notice the infinity symbol has formed underneath your pencil, creating an ever repeating pattern of 1, 2, 4, 8, 7, 5. This number sequence stays intact, as you have numbers as well. The powers of 10. As you replace the decimal numbers with their power, for example, 0 0.5 equals 10. 0.25 equals 100, 0 0.125 equals 1000. You will see that the powers line up horizontally. The number is on the left. Horizontal addition result is on the right. Notice how the 124875 number pattern repeats indefinitely. At this point, some of you might be thinking, what in the world do these number patterns have to do with the real world applications? These number groupings piece together into a jigsaw like puzzle pattern that perfectly demonstrates the way energy flows. Our base 10 decimal system is not man made, rather, is created by this flow of energy. Amazingly, after 20 years of working with this symbol, and collaborating with engineers and scientists, Marco discovered that the 124875 was a doubling circuit for a very efficient electrical coil, but yet there was still one more very important number pattern to be realized. On the mathematical fingerprint of God, notice how the 3, 9, and 6 is in red and does not connect at the base. This is because it is a vector. The 124875 is a third dimension while the oscillation between the 3 and 6 demonstrates the fourth dimension, which is the higher dimensional magnetic field of an electrical coil. The 3, 9, and 6 always occur together, with 9 as the control. In fact, the yin and yang is not a duality, but rather a trinity. This is because the 3 and the 6 represent each side of the yin and the yang, and the 9 is the S-curve between them. Everything is based on thirds. We think that the universe is based on dualities because we see the effects and not the cause. When I say the oscillation between a 3 and a 6, what I mean is that 3 doubled is 6, and 6 doubled is 12, but 1 plus 2 equals 3, and then 12 doubled is 24, but 2 plus 4 equals 6, and 24 doubled is 48, so 4 plus 8 equals 12, and 1 plus 2 equals 3. So the 3 and the 6 go back and forth in their own separate dimension. This creates the other important pattern of 3, 9, 6, 6, 9, 3, 3, 9. Now lay out the number patterns on the 2D grid. Now place the 3, 9, 6, 6, 9, 3, 3, 9 number pattern in the center of the 1, 2, 4, 8, 7, 5 number pattern going forward. And the 1, 2, 4, 8, 7, 5 number pattern going backwards. So that would be 578421. This continuation creates an amazingly perfect number map. The mathematical fingerprint of God is a legend or blueprint for the Taurus and can be visualized in a 2D form as seen on the screen. This 2D number map forms a 3D skin of the Taurus and thus demonstrates the concept of the winding of the coil. And the 9 demonstrates the omni dimension which is the higher dimensional flux emanating, called spirit, that always occurs within the center of the magnetic field lines. The last number left to be explained from the mathematical fingerprint of God is the number 9. The number 9 is the energy being manifested in a single moment event of occurrence in our physical world of creation. It is unique because it is the focal center by being the only number identifying with the vertical upright axis. It is the singularity or the primal point of unity. The number 9 never changes and is linear. For example, all multiples of 9 equal 9. 9 times 1 equals 9. 9 times 2 equals 18. But 1 plus 8 equals 9. 9 times 3 equals 27. 
but 2 plus 7 equals 9. This is because it is emanating in a straight line from the center of mass out of the nucleus of every atom and from out of the singularity of a black hole. It is complete, revealing perfection, and has no parity because it always equals itself. The number 9 is the missing particle in the universe, known as dark matter. The number 9 lines up with the center of the infinity symbol, and it is from the center that the linear emanations we call spirit emanate from the center of mass outwards. Spirit is the only thing in the universe that moves in a straight line. Spirit is the inertia, ether, that Einstein postulated. Spirit is what makes everything else warp and curve around it. The perfect number patterns are actually created by this spirit energy. Without spirit, the universe would become destitute and void. Spirit flow is the source of all movements, as well as the source of the non-decaying spin of the electron. Numbers have temporal, spatial, and volumetric qualities. For example, physics is the base 10 number system. In other words, numbers have bilateral or mirror symmetry and line up in stratified layers of horizontal planes. This is the same as physics parity. There are nine simple multiplication series, one series for each discrete number, one through nine, in vortex-based mathematics. These multiplication series are based upon reducing all products to single digits via horizontal addition, forming meaningful number sequences. There are three polar pairs, one and eight, two and seven, four and five. For example, multiples of four are one times four equals four, two times four equals eight, 3 times 4 equals 12, but 1 plus 2 equals 3. 4 times 4 equals 16, but 1 plus 6 equals 7. 5 times 4 equals 20, but 2 plus 0 equals 2. 6 times 4 equals 24, but 2 plus 4 equals 6. 7 times 4 equals 28, but 2 plus 8 equals 10. And 1 plus 0 equals 1. 8 times 4 equals 32, but 3 plus 2 equals 5. 9 times 4 equals 36 but 3 plus 6 equals 9. So multiples of 4 equal 4, 8, 3, 7, 2, 6, 1, 5. And multiples of 5, the polar opposite of 4, are 5, 1, 6, 2, 7, 3, 8, 4. Each pair forms number sequences that are identical, but in opposing directions. So if you take the multiples of 5 and look at them running backwards, they are the same as the multiples of 4 running forward. In exactly the same way, the multiplication series for the polar pair 1 and 8 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 for the number 1 and the number 8, respectively. The multiplication series for the polar pair 2 and 7 is 2, 4, 6, 8, 1, 3, 5, 7, and 7, 5, 3, 1, 8, 6, 4, 2. Everything is starting from the center outwards, from the singularity. Nature is expressing herself with numbers. The symmetry of our decimal system is a principle of nature. The 9 axis causes the doubling circuit, and it is the point towards which matter converges and away from which it diverges or expands. Thus, the polar pairs will be mirror images of each other, both flowing in opposite directions from the central axis. There is perfect symmetry wrapped around a single point coiling outwards, the same way that petals are wrapped around a rose, or a nautilus shell spirals outwards 